everyone welcome back to my channel mini reviews today i do have another product review for you and actually we're going to be comparing two products today it's going to be the covergirl lash blast volume mascara and the maybelline thick and healthy mascara now according to research the covergirl is the best rated number one drugstore mascara in the market and the maybelline is falling behind on number two so i of course purchased both of them and wanted to test them out so we're gonna go ahead and find out in this video if covergirl truly is the best number one drugstore mascara out there or if it's not well um i did go ahead and apply the covergirl on my left eye and the maybelline on my right eye let me know what you guys think how do they look look good let me know let me know in the comments down below but yeah please don't forget to comment like and subscribe we'll see you next time bye let's get started so i'm running out my everyday go-to mascara is my uh l'oreal voluminous waterproof carbon black now i don't always get waterproof i purchase waterproof by mistake but this is usually my go-to mascara and it is kind of running out it's actually drying up a little bit and you know how they say you have to just change your mascara every few weeks anyways so i wanted to go ahead and buy a new mascara so it's the cover girl versus maybelline mascara this is the number one best recommended, best mascara out there in the market for 2020 for a drugstore, of course. And this is the number two. Now this one, it says, uh, get a blast of bold volume with iconic Lash Blast Mascara from CoverGirl. The Lash Blast Volume Boosting Formula and Brush are designed to leave you with a big, bold lash look. So this is what the mascara is promising or what CoverGirl is promising. The number two go-to mascara is the a full and soft thick and healthy mascara from Maybelline. Goes right here. Now it says a uh, full thick healthy looking lashes stay silky soft for hours, no brittle feel. Advanced thickening formula with vitamin E that helps to soften and nourish lashes. When it comes to prices, I'm gonna go ahead and link them down below. I purchased mine off of Amazon, but of course you can find these in any drugstore. Um, now the cover girl was for six dollars and nineteen cents around there and the Maybelline was for about um, 8 899 877 around there So this is giving you big bold. This is giving you nourishment Soft lashes so cover girl versus Maybelline. Let's see who is the winner. I'm going to apply them. I'm here with you, of course. Comment down below. Let me know which one you think is better, if it's the cover girl or if it's the Maybelline. I don't know. You'll be the judge. You let me know. I will give you, of course, my thoughts and opinions on how I feel about these, but I'm very excited. I wish I didn't have to open both of them, but I'm going to because I want to try them out. So let's get started. I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my left eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the CoverGirl mascara. And my right eye, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Maybelline mascara. Go ahead and get started with the CoverGirl. Let's take a look. Here we go. So the CoverGirl mascaras are always like real like thick, like chunky, right? Is it just me that feels that way? And right there. And then let's open her up. Let's see. Whoa, okay, so this one's thick. <laughs> this one, the, applica the applicator is pretty thick. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna put it as close as I can. Let me see, do you see that? So the bristles look pretty, they're, they're small. Do you see that? Hopefully you can notice that. Now, if I go back to my everyday mascara, the L'Oreal one, look, you see the difference of the bristles or the applicator? And then compared to my cover girl. Oh. Cover girl. My go-to mascara that I have. Hmm, interesting, right? Don't never do this because it's gonna dry the mascara off a lot quicker for you. Always just do this motion in your tube and take it out. That's the best way to get product. Oh no! Let me first curl my lashes, you guys. I almost forgot, I was so close. And I'm gonna just curl my lashes with just a standard curling eyelash thingy. And then I'm gonna just curl, curl, curl. 
i hope you guys are having an amazing day what plans do you have today i do have some plans today actually i'm filming this early in the morning because we have a little like birthday celebration oh that looks nice we have a little birthday celebration that we're gonna go to today nothing big don't worry we're being safe you see a difference one two three four five six seven eight nine ten today is sunday and the work week is about to begin yay so happy about that but let me see i miss my lashes my eyelash extensions i miss them so much here mascara honestly like changes the whole vibe mascara and lashes anything that has to do with your eyelashes i feel like just changes oh your vibe or like your whole look instantly pretty let me see How's it look? Let me take a look. How does that look? Should I go in with more? I don't want to put too much mascara because I don't like when they look like like spider legs. Well, I don't like the look at all. I think you've done you've gone too far. But if you like that look, go for it, girl. I'm not judging. I just I don't like that personally. Okay, let's go back in. And just kind of get as close to the base as possible because they say that's the best way to apply it. Want to make sure your base is nice and thick. And I already got some mascara right here. How do they look? They look nice. They're good. You see the mascara? Normally the best way to clean that is with a Q-tip, but I don't have any in front of me, so finger it is. So that's how that looks. I did go in twice. Um, I wish I can go back and just fix right here. I don't know what that is, if I don't have any lashes there or what, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lash. So one thing that I've noticed, I don't know if you can see right here. Do you see that little like chunk of mascara? How is that supposed to be the best drugstore mascara? Can someone tell me? So they look nice. I feel like they do look really nice. The applicator, I, I've never really had anything like this before. It's a little like, I don't know. I mean, they're soft. It's not like it's harsh or anything, so you should be okay. So now it's time to go in with the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. Interesting, so the tube is blue. Do you see that? And oh, Okay, yeah. So this is the applicator. See how that curves a little bit right there? That's nice, okay. Get the difference between the CoverGirl and the Maybelline. CoverGirl, Maybelline. Two completely different applicators. So uh, it's a lot lighter. I didn't really think the CoverGirl was heavy at all, but compared to this one, it does, this one feels a lot lighter. So there's a difference in weight as well. So um, I've noticed immediately that it does the eyelash. It makes it longer, so that's it. I don't that was just with one. Let me go in with another one. Cause I feel like this one looks prettier than this one. But relax, we're not done yet. Let's go. Ah, did I get my eyebrow? Yes, we're here a little bit. What do you think? I think this one looks fuller, right, than this one. Let me go in with one more. This will be the, my third application. They look the same? No, I feel like this one looks a lot fuller. Ashes for my right eye, I feel like they look longer, but this one looks fuller, right? Let me go ahead and do the bottom lash now. I don't know, sorry. I mean, I feel like it gives me my lashes length. I feel like they're both look really nice. I feel like um, on this eye, the right lashes look a little bit longer, but my left eye, they look a little bit thicker. And I had to really go in there quite a few times with the uh, Maybelline one to kind of get this result. On my, uh, for my cover girl, I didn't really have to go in that much and it instantly gave me that, um, just like that thickness. I feel like it also gave me some volume. What do you think? pretty not pretty do you even see a huge difference because this one was a lot pricier than this one and i feel like i like the cover girl a lot more than this one but i'm honestly really enjoying this one a lot more than i am this one they're both pretty i'm gonna use both of them regardless but i thought it was a very interesting thing to see if number one is really number one i think it depends i think it's really your preference if you want more of a thicker lash 
um it's gonna be this one if you want more of a nice beautiful like long lash I think this one will be for you. That is it, you guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. That really does help me a ton. And we'll see you hopefully Friday for an unboxing video. Bye, guys. Thick and healthy. Thick and healthy. It says...